How are you, team? I think we can only give uh, those who are not here maybe two minutes to join. If they, they are nowhere to be found, I think we can continue with those people who are here. Then maybe after that, we'll share a recording with the, the rest of the team. Ryan, Tawani, how are you? Ah, good. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Ah, we are doing well. How are you doing? Ah, we are good. Yeah, we are so good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, guys. I hope we'll meet in person and then we'll discuss. So Ryan, can we start? Yes, let's 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 move. Ah, it's okay. Or uh, maybe some some uh, people will join us as we proceed. Thank you so much, guys. Nice meeting you. Uh, my name is Karagazai Thomas. That's my name. I'm going to take you through the introduction to urban sociology course. Which is happened to which happened to be an interesting uh, course uh, towards your your degree. So I hope we we'll work together. And uh, as I have said in the previous uh, recording, my intention is not to make anyone fail. No, but uh, I just wish uh, everyone who participates and uh, make sure that you. You write your assignments on time. You do group presentation. So that is, that is the minimal task I'll be asking from you, just doing your assignments, just doing your uh, group presentations. And again, I need to address that uh, the kind of the questions which are on your assignments are the typical questions which are going to be in the exam. So I just felt like it's better to give assignments which relate to the exam so that uh, students will not be surprised and say, oh, this guy was busy uh, teaching this. And at the end of the day, the typical questions which were set are so different. So best wishes, but if you have got any questions uh, uh, concerning the questions, concerning our lectures, feel free guys to ask uh, anything as we proceed. So I'm going to jump into the introduction of our course, the introduction to urban sociology. So the main course objectives which we, are, we intend to achieve at the end of the course, one is expected to define urban sociology, uh, the perspectives, the concepts and terminology which is uh, being used. And again, the other issue is to characterize Zimbabwe's urban social problems and also cross-cutting issues. Then the third objective is uh, you should be capable to advise local authorities uh, and central governments on the role of cities in economic growth, development, industrialization, and innovation in a globalized world. So basically, these are the three ob uh, objectives which you intend to achieve at the end of this course. So to start with, uh, we have to understand the origins and the, the scope of uh, urban sociology. Uh, what is uh, urban sociology? This is the study of the impact of uh, city life on many social actions, uh, social relationships, social institutions, and types of civilizations uh, derived and based on urban modes of living. So in other words, uh, urban sociology is a normative discipline of sociology, seeking study, uh, to study the structures, uh, be it in environmental processes, 
the changes and problems of an urban area. And by doing so, uh, we'll be providing inputs for urban planning and policy making, where we have got uh, authors such as Anderson who defined urban sociology as concerns uh, of society uh, living in towns and cities. So that's uh, a, an introduction to urban sociology. Uh, Queen also in 2020 defined the urban sociology as a science related to the study of structure of cities and urban as in the urban sociology. So, as I have alluded before, the sociological study of life and human interaction in metropolitan areas uh, is key as it seeks to study the structures, the processes, and the problem of an urban area by doing so, uh, to provide inputs uh, for planning and policy making. So maybe in other words, we are trying to say, as we are studying the urban sociology as a course, there's the need to take into consideration the problems which are arising uh, in our urban cities, in our urban areas. So we want to uh, expurgate how uh, these problems affect social inst institutions, affect uh, social structures, affect social relationships. So this is basically what we are going to look at uh, within urban sociology. Then also tracing the history or the origins of uh, urban sociology. We do have different uh, artists or different uh, researchers. We have uh, followed the trend of how urban sociology uh, came to birth. So, the systematic discipline of urban sociology came into being in the 20th century, as is the case of rural sociology, maximum work in the field of urban sociology has also been done in the United States of America. We have uh, studies which were done um, by a sociologist at the University of Chicago around 1915 and 1914, where the study was uh, done by a group of theorists, sociologists, uh, which uh, wanted to understand the impetus of this urban sociology. And the, the pioneers of this uh, Chicago school were Louis Weth, Robert Park, and uh, Ernest Begis, uh, to mention but a few. So, uh, the importance of the theories developed by the Chicago School within urban sociology have been uh, critically sustained and critiqued. As you know, theories are developed, but there are certain assumptions which need to be examined and investigated as to whether these theories uh, practically fit across the world. And uh, this, uh, these critiques and analysis were also done uh, for, for the urban uh, sociologists who have done the, we have tried to come with the urban sociology. But this urban sociology uh, theory from these Chicago guys remain one of the most significant uh, historical advancements in understanding urbanization and the city within the social science. So one might wonder why we are doing this course, the introduction to urban sociology yet we are pursuing a degree uh, would, and the, this is the anger of this course, tracing the advancement in understanding urbanization and the city within the social science. So as we'll be uh, going forward, uh, the issue of urbanization and the changes in social science and how it affects humanity is going to be a critical component of our course. So I also uh, made sure that we, we need to trace the philosophical foundations of our modern urban sociology so that we understand how the urbanization, how the social problems which are affecting us to die came from. So the urban sociology originates from the work of, of, of sociologists 
uh, as I alluded before, we have got a uh, Karl Marx, we have got a uh, Tonys, we have uh, Max Weber, and Simeon. So they studied and theorized both the economic, social, and cultural processes of urbanization, its effects on social alienation, class formation, and the production or destruction of collective individ individual identities. So as you know, and as you see today, the formation of various cities in Zimbabwe and the way they are categorized and the different classes we have, they have got an influence or were influenced by the philosophical foundation of the modern urban uh, sociology, which was uh, propounded by the guys which I have mentioned uh, before. So these uh, theoretical foundations were further expanded upon and analyzed by a group of sociologists and researchers who worked at the University of Chicago in the early 20th century in what become known as the Chicago School of Sociology. They revolutionized the purpose of urban research in, in sociology. So these philosophical foundations have brought us today to say, you uh, as we do students now, we have also to trust and also come up with the uh, profiles on how uh, urban research can be done, which uh, you've got cross-cutting issues in terms of uh, the social mm -hmm. component part of the city, the class formation, the production or destruction of collective and individual identities. So it is also noted that uh, the development of human geography through its use of quantitative and ethnographic research method uh, was born uh, as a result of this uh, philosophical foundation of modern uh, urban sociology. Apart from these philosophical foundations, we do have different uh, theories of urban growth, which uh, are influencing or have influenced how our cities today are structured, how our cities today are developing. And the, some of the theories of urban growth, which we need to look at, uh, include the following, the concentric model, the concentric zone model by Burgess, the sector model by Wright, the multiple nuclear model, and the exploitative uh, model. So with this model, what we intend to cover now is to see how these models were developed, how these theories of urban growth were developed by different uh, theorists. And after studying that, we need also to be able to apply these theories to our contemporary society, to see that how uh, these uh, theories of growth of much, of much significance to our day-to-day -day running and growth of cities in Zimbabwe. So those are the key takeaways, especially when we are talking about these uh, theories of urban growth. Then we'll start by the concentric uh, zone model, uh, which was done by Ernest Burgess. He is the pioneer and his theory on city dynamics, which provide the best for the later theorists on the subject. So the hypothesis of this theory is that cities grow and they develop outward in concentric zone. Uh, Beggy set out to evolve the theory of dynamics, but I arrived at a theory of patterns of city growth, which applies to any stage of urban development. So according to him, he noted that the urban area consists of five concentric uh, zones, which represent the areas of functional differentiation and expand rapidly from the justness center. So he came up with the different uh, zones which include the, the, the loop, which is the commercial center, the zone of transition, the zone of working class residents, the zone, the residential zone of high class apartment buildings, the commuter zone. However, this theory was not free from criticism by himself and others. So he, as you read further, you will see that uh, Burgess's concentric zone model does not apply to the reality of cities. He assumed that uh, cities, they develop in a concentric uh, uh, zone in form of rings. And uh, as we see 